Yeah, so welcome to the chat. Yeah, so today is going to be a very wonderful day, especially this week. I'm seeing some certain moves. So let's delete drawing and start afresh. Yeah, so last week was something I really love. Yeah, I really love what happened last week. Uh, let me let me show you guys how I traded first. Yeah, so this is G. This is GBP. GBP JPY Great Britain Japanese Yen Yen. So there is some certain moves that happen. So this is my chart. This is my chart. So here is what happened. So here is what happened last week. So last week I was looking for literally a buy opportunity here. Here about these short functionality that I did here. In as much as I lost money there, I lost money there. Yeah. But I was looking for a buy opportunity and I lost money. <laughs> and he bought, but I lost money. So here is the here is the place that I did one of the mistakes that I, I always hate doing whenever I'm trading. So I was calling a trade. I called a trade on Wednesday, which is somewhere here. No, on Tuesday, that I'm going to be expecting this market to hit the psychology level. You can see there is a boss here. So I was expecting the market to hit this psychology level before it will start moving. But I didn't know that this support zone was so big and so mighty. Yeah, so let me get rid of this trend line that is here. Okay, so I didn't know that this psychology level was so big. This support zone was so strong that the market can never ever break it to come down to that psychology level. So I was looking for a sell opportunity, sorry, buy opportunity from here. From here now, this is where I do this red boss. I was expecting that this market is going to be rolling up as it did, but due to i had that strong bias i had strong belief that the market is going to come back here before i would get in i didn't change my mind yeah when it comes to flexibility this is one of the things that you have to learn in the market you have to learn how to be flexible you have to learn how to be quick to think and you have to learn how to take decisions and know that this market is all about probability. Yeah, so this market moved from here to this zone before it did this retracement. So this retracement was what I was expecting that it's going to do here. I was thinking that maybe it will just do a little high, maybe to this high and then come back to this zone before it start moving that aggressively. Yeah, but it went up about so many pips here, yeah. from here to here. That's seven something pips before the market retraced that big move to this down and it started going up again. So this is one of the reasons and this is one of the things that I did last week that I hate. Yeah, I lost money here and it was painful. So all that place was here. So I this year, what I want to do this year is to is to be taking action whenever i see something that i believe in or something that i know that okay this is one of my strategies so the, i was expecting a thought bounce of this trend line i didn't know that the market will not retest i didn't know that so i didn't know that the market will not obey it not retest so you can see a first bounce second bounce so this is a third bounce yeah i lost money there yeah, i was expecting the market to literally come down maybe retrace from that place once you see once you hit this trend line so once i saw that move once i saw that move i started trying to sell from that zone but it didn't work it didn't work at all so then i know that okay something is wrong which is the market is on a bullish trend yeah so i didn't bother to force anything i didn't bother to make anything out of this i just left it so that was how i did last week this is where i recover from here i recover from here 
this one i lost some here i made a profit so i recover from here i was a buy opportunity i called the trade yeah i called the trade god helped me so much because my stop loss wasn't a bit lower here that was my stop loss i did i saw that this place is a, this place is a support zone so i gave a little bit stop loss below here so the market obeyed and started moving up but this this one took people that i called the trade for because i i was so far so when once the market started moving up you can see this place once the market started moving up then i just called the trade and my stop loss was hit from here people that i called the trade for this my stop loss this thing hit them out before started moving in their favor so this is one of also the reason that when you are going to trade or when you are trading make sure that your stop loss is below the last support zone or resistance zone yeah any low make sure that your stop loss is below it you can see what happened here the market just retest if the stop loss was somewhere here market will just hit him out hit the person out he or she out and start moving to the right direction where the person was expecting and there is there is nothing more painful than something like this market hitting your stop loss and reverse in your favor and start going so next time when you are trading make sure that your stop loss level is below so give it a breathing space sorry guys yeah so give it a breathing space before you get in that trade make sure that you give it a very breathing space your stop loss before you get in so this is just the 17 pips and our target was 30 some 36 pips so 17 plus 17 is 34 pips yeah 34 pips 17 plus 17 34 pips so this is even more than one is to two yeah uh let's call it one is one is to two because this is 36 pips so it's just the two pips away from one is to two yeah so that was it so let's move to this week so this week is another week let's use a fresh chart i don't want to change anything there so let's use a fresh chart so this week is another week so remember what i do whenever i come to the market let's go to four hours i map out my high and low of the week so how to get your high and low of the week is simple as you are here the first thing that you will do if you go the first thing that you will do is going over to four hours once you are once you open the four hours you go to settings which is where i click chart settings up here if you're using trading view it's very easy then you toggle on the session breaks once you toggle on the session breaks then you select the two candles that showed up so this is the first one and this is the second one so right now i didn't i don't really know if this candle is going to close this way or is going to go above this high which is this this low here which is the first candle and this place high because of this video i'm going to leave it this way so let's change it to no 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 i'm not using this guy get rid of them get rid of them so i'm using this horizontal read for this video not for this video that's what i use i don't use horizontal line i use horizontal read to set my high and low of the week so this is it yeah so let me take it up here to be the same zone with this one yeah so this is the high and low of the week so what i do with this high and low of the week okay let me remove the session bridge breaks yeah let me off them so this is it so what i do with this is i this thing helped me a lot to figure out where the market is going to be going for the week so it helped me a lot so with this sorry guys yeah so with this what i'm going to be expecting this market to do if this market better this better this low and go down 50 pips below this place so this week what i will be expecting is just a sell sell opportunity what if in a case where the market break out this high and gave 50 pips then i'll be expecting i'll be expecting a buy buy um so i'll be expecting a buy buy opportunity so 
what about in a case where it breaks out and return that means i'm going to be neutral i'm going to know that this switch is going to be a sell or a buy opportunity so whatever comes i'm going to take it that way this is how i usually do whenever i want to map whenever i want to map out my high and low of the week so finger cross remember finger cross based on this this is the first candle this is the second candle and you can see the time we have about two hours plus before the time we close so the time we, we don't know when we don't know how this candle is going to close maybe in the next one hour the candle will start moving aggressively to the upside yes yeah, so this is it so the next thing i do for myself is this whenever i'm trading is to map out my psychology level so psychology level is very simple it's a random number where hedge funds big boys pay close attention to so let's put my psychology level so you just bring out your horizontal line to bring your horizontal lines out or your horizontal ray out is just you come over here the second tools that is here once you click on it you see everything that you need even the horizontal ray that i use is here the horizontal line is here due to i have already selected selected them as favorite that's why they are up here that's why they are up here so this is my psychology level so what i you once you click on this you go to settings and go to coordinates then you change it make it a random number 187.000 there is a random number so the next one will be the next one will be 187 187.500 that's the next one yeah that's the next one here this is the next one then you change it 500 yeah that's the next one so the next one will be 18 yeah so one eight let's call it 180,000 yeah that's the next one so this is the next one let's put out uh, let's let's make it above this place so the next one is one eight one eight one eight eight point five hundred so that's the next one so let's put it one eight yeah so this is the next one so let's put another one another one will be one nine one hundred ninety 189,000 that's the next one 189,000 so this is how you can set your psychology level on gg on gg yeah very simple very simple i think maybe this week on wednesday i'll just break it down how to set psychology level on gg on gu and maybe one other pair for the case of that video so this is it so psychology levels are random number where banks hedge funds and all the big people on in this trading environment pay close attention to so you can use psychology level as a support and resistance zone or you can just map up map out your support and resistance zone so here you can see that this market is already on resistance zone we are people call it a supply zone yeah people call it a supply zone because you can see that this market is finding it difficult to break out this place this previous high that it has already created it is finding it difficult to break out from that place yeah so this is psychology level so what you do is if after mapping it out just make sure that you use your ruler tool to measure it yeah you can see this is 50 pips this is 50 pips from here to here is 50 pips if it's above 50 pips you are wrong if it's below 50 pips you are also wrong so this is it's very simple how to map out your psychology level so what is the next thing the next thing is your trend line so trend line is very simple this you can use this tool if you go over to that second tool to two boss which is here the second one you can just see the trend line the trend line is the first one you can also make it favorite as this you click on this star that is here look at this one if you click on it you can see now it has added as a favorite tool, but i don't use this i don't like it so very simple so your trend line is this some people will ask what is trend line how can what what is the reason of trend line so trend line tools or trend line is very simple why people use trend line is just like also a way of mapping out your 
key levels, mapping out where the market is bouncing. Remember, as a trend trader, trend line is just a tool that we use to know where the market is heading to. That that is like you know the market moves like a wave. It moves in aggressive with this, aggressive with this, or you call it correctional. So the market moves aggressive and correct, aggressive and correct. So trend line two is what we use as a trend trader to know where the correction will end. So from here, you can see how the market move. It didn't hit here, but it came back to hit this place and corrected to this upside. So let's let, let me let's find a place that is very good for that for this video so that you guys will understand very well. Yeah, this zone is very okay. So you can see the first touch, the second touch, the third touch. So in trend line strategy, we always have first touch, second touch, and third touch. If the market or the trend is so aggressive and this, then it will do the fourth touch. But if it's not aggressive that much, the fourth touch, whenever the market is coming back to make a fourth touch, be very, very careful because most time it will break it. And that's in this case, that's what happened. You can see a first touch from here. You can see a second touch from here. You can see a third touch. So with that, let's go to another one. So you can see this one and this one. And there is another one which is a downward trend line when is the market when the market is going towards the down downward here yeah. so here you can see here you can see here so here you can see this is a trend line too you can see a first touch second touch the market come down and go back here to make the second touch sorry the third touch what happened the market hit the third touch and start dropping and come back again which is trying to make the fourth touch what happened again the market now break to the fourth touch market break to the fourth touch this is the way this market this is the way it's supposed to be so it break down and what happened the next one the fourth one it broke that place once it break this place what happened it come back to retest that zone that's how so here it will test the trend line this is very simple as i said this is just a trading tool that we use to know how the market is obeying the trend which is happening at that moment and remember when we have in a breakout strategies bounce with test bounce and immediate break and break and retest that's what we have in a trend line strategy so what happened here you can see that the market come back to retest this place which is a pure break and retest strategy and once the market reached that trend line which is was a downward trade what happened once it hit it in the upside what happened it reversed to the upside which is now turned to a buy opportunity and come back again retest this place this place was a supply zone sorry a demand zone which is a support you can call it a demand or a support zone what happened it started moving to the upside so that's simple that's a trend line strategy so what is the next thing that i use whenever i'm trading a chart pattern so chart pattern is simple my chart pattern that i use is double top and double bottom so once i see this kind of a thing you can see here this is a series of chart pattern that is happening here so as for me i will look out for this double bottom here before i will enter a trade if i'm looking for a buy opportunity from this zone right now i'm not going to be buying with this move i'm going to wait for this with this here to complete this leg as a double bottom before i will look for a buy opportunity which is what happened here you can see the first one and you can see the second one this is it this is it first one and second one so that's it when for a sell opportunity also the same thing this is a big one first touch and second one i will look for a sell opportunity here because i've already have my first leg here and this is a second leg yeah so the next thing that i use to enter is psychology level trend line chart pattern and high and low high and low of the week so remember as i said when i started when i draw this high and low of the week is this the high and low of the week is what shows me a directional move in this market so once this market reach this zone by tuesday which is tomorrow morning i'm going to be looking for a sell opportunity if you break down from here 
if you break up i'm going to looking for a buy opportunity so this is just a simple way how i trade yeah so this week what i will be doing this week is very simple this method is on a resistance zone so i'm going to be following a popular demand so which is and that is one of the reason that's one of the things that moved the market popular demand yeah here is a supply zone and a resist or a resistance zone depending on what you want to call it if this market break out this zone from here then i'll be looking for a sell opportunity and which is a correction now that would, which is, is going to be a correction that would happen here a little bit correction maybe to this zone to this zone which is here to so somewhere here somewhere here the correction now to here before it starts here so if this might come back here to make a low which is you see a low a low a high a low then a break out then it's have to do a low to retest this zone that it just break out from last week here so once it would once it retest that zone then it's going to break at this high so you see one two three it's going to do the fourth low remember the market moves like a wave high higher sorry low high low high is going to create another low to greater that high then you know that it buys or the bullish trend is still active but now that is making this series of this move if you come back here to create a low and come back here to create an equal high which is equal with this one that means be very very careful and know that this market is going to maybe ch have a change of trend from here so that's all and what i'm expecting this week peace out mm -hmm.